All right, hello everybody and welcome back to Saginaw Farms. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jake. We live on a two acre hobby farm down here in southeastern Pennsylvania. And today uh, I'm going to be giving a farm update to y'all. Um, had a request to make one, I guess, a couple weeks ago, maybe about a month ago or so. But I was going over everything, whatnot. So hope the wind noise isn't going to be too bad. It's a little breezy outside right now. Alright, so first off, I'm probably going to be changing my channel name here soon. Uh, I'm going to change it to Mount Hope Meadows. Uh, since we live in the old Mount Hope schoolhouse, it kind of makes sense to change the farm name to something that's just going to stick. Um, second of farms is a kind of filler name. We just wanted something to be there. Um, so we'll change it to Mount Hope Meadows. Meadows. I'll spell that on the screen. So, you guys can see that. Um, so, that's the most important thing to say. So, if you look up Saginaw Farm sometime, it doesn't pop up, look up Mount Meadows. I guess we'll start out here in the chicken pen. Uh, we had to set up their little radiant heater thing up there. We'll set up a heat lamp here soon. Um, everything's been fine in here. I haven't been getting... Haven't been getting too many eggs lately, so I don't know what's up with that, but maybe they're just cold. Who knows? But chickens have been fine. Walk outside. Alright, so we're out here in the outside part of the chicken pen. And as you can see, we threw a whole bunch of pumpkins in here. They were all sitting out front, decoration and stuff, and threw a bunch of them back here, along with an old straw bale that was used for decoration. So, yes, I did that last week or something. So, they ate a lot of pumpkins. I guess they like them. Huh? You like pumpkins? Yep. You like them? Something new to eat? That water will come inside soon, too. Alright, so an update on the garden here. Uh, we pulled all the plants out, little tomato plants and stalks and stuff. Uh, a pile of it, that pile needs to be burned. And then we'll till the garden once. Light till. Like, only a couple inches down. Just gonna break up the weeds on top. And then I got a bunch of old composted goat manure in the back. We're gonna spread that all out in the garden. Put a nice thick layer on it. So, I'll be sure to make a video on that. So, probably within the next month before it gets too cold so in part of the video request i had a request to talk about the new ducks more like new duck we had a fox come in and get one of our new guys his brother or something so we have quite a, bit, a few foxes around here i haven't heard them lately but we just gotta keep a close eye on them. The fox came, of course, on a rainy, cold, windy day when the dogs couldn't be out, so they can't be running the yard when it's all wet and muddy. So the fox just came in and left. Nobody ever heard or saw anything. So we just saw some feathers down there in the back lot. But we've also been having some problems with rats in here um got rat holes they live i don't know if you can see that back there in that corner they got a little hole they got down under there thinking of solutions to fix that um we're thinking about putting like concrete blocks down as the floor because the rats will come up and they'll bite the ducks and hurt the ducks so we don't want that and they also eat their food which costs money which costs us money and Howard we don't like that do we no right uh-huh 
power knows all. All right, so as you can see here, the quite large pile of leaves that we have been collecting over the past month for the leaf mold, mulch, whatever you want to call it, for the garden. Um, I don't know, three feet high or something. But that's going to sit there until about late spring, until it goes on the garden. And there's still more falling, but just leaves. A little warm too. Compost and somewhat. A little bit of grass in them. But down here at the goats now. Um, not really much has changed with them. So, he's eating away. It's brought a hay bale now for him. So, so in case you missed it, this was our most recent purchase. This is a 1963 Cub Cadet Original. I've named him Stanley. Um, so updates with him. I just did some wiring. Got some tires for him. They're used, they're a little cracked, but I mostly bought them for the wheels. There's a better look at one. But, just got new generator form, generator starter. I think I talked about before, that one is not working. So I'm, yeah, I'm going to take that apart, see what's wrong with it. But that one works. So, I'm going to make a video that will go further in depth with this machine and my future plans for it probably this week sometimes. So, and just in case you missed it, this is our most recent purchase. So, all right, so a little update on Farmall, uh, the 53 Farmall Cub. I uh, took the engine to a machine shop about a week or two ago. Uh, be back in the spring. I am making a, another Farmall Cub video. Just on the Farmall Cub. Probably be out in a week or two. So I'll talk a little bit more. I think I talk before I take the engine to the machine shop. And then I talk a little bit after. But it'll be out. The engine will be back about springtime. So, right now, I got the wire wheel, stainless brush thing on oversized Dremel tool. Uh, taking paint off the hood, got a bunch of other paint to strip off, get it all ready for paint. I do want to replace some of the bearings in the rear end, there, there, and spots. Uh, workshop's kind of a mess right now, but, yeah, oh, and I just, uh, finished working on this, put a new carburetor on it, it's a Poland Pro 42cc chainsaw. That's a chainsaw I'll probably wind up using. Uh, pretty nice machine. Just need a new carburetor. It's sitting under my tractor for a while now. Need some repairs. So, get that all working. Um, I think that's pretty much all the updates right now. Um, so, a couple things happening on the farm. Uh, channel name is going to change. And. Pretty much it right now. Probably post a video on Cub Cadet this week sometime. I'll try. It's Monday. I'll try to post this video Tuesday if I can. So, I guess we'll see you next time, everybody. See you later.